If your child's got coordination difficulties, there's lots of things that you can do at home that will help. First of all, practice is going to improve, but make sure it's something the child wants to do or needs to do. So if it's things like tying shoelaces, then you might want to practice with different coloured shoelaces tied together because it's easier to see. And you can do a bunny loops method, which is much easier to tie the, the laces over twice and then do them in a bunny loop and tie them again. Or if you're doing things like handwriting, then practising those skills we've talked about. So practice the pre-writing skills and then practice the writing skills. If it's ball skills, then a big ball is going to be easier to catch and throw than a small ball. So start with big and start with a child stable on the floor and then move to catching and throwing a bit further away. If they've got problems with kicking a ball, again, a big ball, a big target is much, going to be much easier than with a small ball. And so practising dribbling and then building up, practising kicking it further back and forth, but make it quite close together to start with. But regular practice is going to be much easier to do than just occasional. We never learn to be a concert pianist by practicing the piano once a week. Same goes for coordination skills as well.